Welcome everyone. The first step to access the cloud is you're going to open up the settings and from here at the very top you should see your name. If you don't it should say sign in and you will need to either sign in or create a brand new Apple ID and there are on-screen instructions for that. Once you have done this tap on your name and the cloud on the iPhone is called iCloud. So we're going to tap on the iCloud option and you can see the cloud apps. So we have Photos, iCloud Drive, Mail, Keychain, and we have the Show All option. On the older software, it will just show everything in the list and you won't have a Show All. So here are all the apps and you can turn on or off the cloud features for these apps. And so for example, if iCloud Photos has been turned on, your photos, which are on the iPhone, are going to be backed up to the cloud. And we have the option to manage the storage, see how much storage is being used up, or we can turn off the iCloud Photos feature. On top of this, we have these other apps. Safari will sync your Safari history, your bookmarks to the cloud. Each individual app will sync your data, like messages, syncing your messages. If you get a new iPhone, the messages will download from the cloud. Do note that with the iCloud, by default, you only have five gigs of storage, and so that may get used up. And so if you do need more storage, you're gonna need to tap on manage storage here, and you may need to upgrade so we see change storage plan and there we go. So you can see it does cost money to increase the storage, but if you think it is right for you, you need more storage, you can do so. iCloud is mainly for, let's say the notes that I have on this iPhone. If I have a MacBook, and I'm signed into the same iCloud account, all of these notes are going to show up on the MacBook right away. Same with the messages, same with the photos, the calendar events. It just allows your Apple products to work seamlessly. On top of this, if you don't have an Apple product, you can go to iCloud.com on the non-Apple device. And if you sign in with your same Apple ID, you can view your iCloud photos, your iCloud mail, drive, everything will show up on this website, which you may want to do as well. With that being said, if you'd like to help support the channel, please do check the description. Bye bye.